Let us pray in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Angel of God, may guard and hear the goodness, love, and sing here. Every day, be at my side, the light, and guard the rule, and guide you. In the name of the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning, class. Good morning, sir. Okay. So, ngayon, ang setup natin ngayon ay cross apple seed. Alam niyo, wait lang. Alam niyo ba cross apple seed? Apple! Okay, sit down. Who's absent today? Not sir. sir. Our topic for today is all about forces and motion. So now, at the end of the lesson, the student should be able to identify the force and motion, identify the relation of force and motion toward gravity and energy. Next is understand the relationship of force and motion. And lastly, applying the force and motion using the activity such as performing the push and pull. Okay, class, before we proceed our discussion, I prepared a video here. This video is related to our topic. So, ngayon ay sasayo tayo at susundan ninyo ako. Maliwanag ba mga bata? Apo! Apo! Okay, ngayon ay magsitayo kayo at tayo ay sasayaw. Tayo, tayo. Maray. And what are they? 
Well, when two or more objects come in contact with each other during the interaction, the force is called a contact force. This contact force is further divided into various types, such as applied force, frictional force, normal force, etc. And some of the examples of contact force are a person pushing a huge wooden box, a person skating on a rough floor struck by the friction, a table supporting a vase kept on it by exerting an upward force and much more. On the other hand, the non-contact force is the opposite of the contact force, meaning during a non-contact force, two objects do not come into physical contact with each other during the interaction. The main types of non-contact force are gravitational, electrostatic and magnetic. Some of the examples of non-contact force are an apple falling from a tree, a football kicked high in the air falling towards earth, an iron nail attracted to a magnet, pieces of paper attracted towards your Buddha or comb when rubbed. And to understand both the forces quantitatively, the force is measured in the unit Newton. But the application of force does not end the topic. In fact, it takes us to the next step of force applied called work. When a force is applied to an object, it results in the movement of an object. And when this happens, the work is said to be done. And even the work performed can differ in various forms. Yes, the work could be either positive, which means the force is in the same direction as the displacement of an object or it could be negative, indicating the displacement of an object is opposite to the direction of the force applied, or else it could be zero, which means the force and displacement are perpendicular to each other. In other words, there is no displacement of an object. So to understand the kind of work done, we calculate it Using the formula, work is equal to force into distance and the standard unit of measurement for work is joule. But remember my friends, in order to apply the force and perform the work, we need the ability to do it and that ability to perform the work is known as energy. Yes, my dear friends, Without energy, you won't be able to perform even the simplest task. So it's essential to refill yourself by a regular supply of energy that can be obtained from the food we eat, like green vegetables, fruits and nuts, that gives you the required strength to perform your daily work and keeps you healthy and wise. Trivia time! Did you know the gravitational force is the one that keeps the Earth orbiting around the Sun? Also, the Earth is like one strong bar magnet which has a magnetic north and south which the needle on a compass represents too. Hope you learned something new in today's episode. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Never mind. Okay, mga bata, naiintindihan nyo ba ang pinanoodin niyong video? Ako! Okay, may mga ilang topic na napasama sa video na kung saan sa susunod na araw pa natin tatalakayin. So ngayon, magpupokus muna tayo sa force, motion, work, energy, and gravity. So ngayon, sino gusto magbahagi ng kanyang nalaman tungkol sa pinanood natin video? Anyone? Sir! Sir! Lodi! Sir, yung, yung force yung ginagamit natin para pumapagala po ang isa 
isang object. Okay, very good, Lori. Sit down. So, sino pa ang gusto magpahabi? Sir! 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 Aquino. Sir, yung pong energy. Without energy daw po, hindi natin magagawa yung mga ginagawa natin sa araw-araw. Katulad po ng pag-work. Maghusay, Aquino. So, sino pa? Sir, magpapis na magpahabi. Okay, go. Sir, nagaya po ng pagwawalis po ng floor. Naguhugas po ng pinggan. That's all the way, sir. Very well said. Sir! 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 Oo, ang paro! Sir! Sabi po, ang motion daw po yung ano, paggalaw daw po na object ng dahil po sa force of energy na meron po tayo. Okay, very good ang paro. Sit down! Mahusay mga bata. So ngayon, nagkaroon na kayo ng idea tungkol sa ating pag-aaralan sa force, motion, work, energy, and gravity. Okay mga bata, meron na akong inihandang activity na gagawin natin sa labas. Pero bago tayo lumabas, ay hahatiin ko muna kayo sa dalawang grupo. So ngayon, bilang tayo ng dalawa. Lori? Isa. Dalawa. Isa. Dalawa. So magsama ang number one at number two. Okay mga bata, magsitayo ang muna lahat tayo ay nalabas. So, sumunod kayo sa akin. Okay, mga bata, magkasama na ba ang magkagrupo? Apo! Anong group nyo? One po! Ito ang group two. two. two so, ngayon ay meron ako ditong tali. Na ang taling ito ay gagamitin natin sa unang activity. Na ang, ang tawag sa activity na gagawin natin ay tag of war. Gusto nyo ba yon? Opo! Okay mga bata, sa activity, activity ito ay meron tayong two rounds. So ngayon ay kakapitan nyo itong magkabilang dulo at kayo ay maghihalahan. So kung sino ang lumampas sa gulit na ito ay siya ang talo. Naiintindahan niyo ba mga bata? Apo! Okay. Are you ready kids? Yes sir! Okay, count of three. One, two, three. <laughs> okay, sa unang round, ang nanalo ay ang group one. Okay, next. Round. Round. Are you ready, kids? Yes, yes sir! And count of three again. One, two, three. <laughs> Yay! <Yes! Yes! laughs> Tayo, ipalakpakan ninyo ang inyong mga sarili. So, ngayon naman ay dadako tayo sa pangalawang activity. Na ang pangalawang activity ito ay tinatawag na tossing the ball. Okay class, ang mechanics ng activity nito ay kung sino ang grupo na hindi makakasalo ng bola ay siya ang talo. Naiintindihan niyo ba? Oo! Oh! Okay, magsimula sa iyo tayo, Arlene. Mga bata, nang-enjoy ba kayo sa ating outdoor activity? Apo! Okay, dahil ang gagawin ninyo sa ating activity, meron na akong reward na ibibigay sa inyo. Yay! Okay, Lori? Thank you, sir. Meron na? Thank you po, sir. Enjoy. Thank you po, sir. Thank you po. Hi, Lori. So, ngayon, ganda ko na tayo sa ating discussion. So now, what is force? Force is a strength or energy exerted. A force changes the weight an object. 
Yun na nga, di ba kanina sa activity na natin yung tag of war? Doon, nai-apply ninyo ang force na kung saan ginamitan nyo ito ng lakas sa paghihilahan ng tali. Naintindihan nyo ba? Apo! Okay. Next is, what is motion? Motion is the process of an object moving or being moved. So, sinasabi nga sa motion, ito ay ang paggalaw ng isang bagay to another direction. So, doon nga sa activity na ginawa niyo kanina, sa paghihilahan, makikita natin doon ang motion dahil kayo ay gumalaw sa ibang direction. Naiintindihan niyo ba? Apa! So, next is, how does force and motion related to each other? So, palagay, so sa palagay ninyo, bakit related sa isa't isa ang force and motion? Anyone? Sir! Sir! Aquino! Sir, sa tingin ko po, kaya related ang force at motion sa isa't isa, is kasi, halimbawa po, kapag nag-move tayo ng isang object, gumagamit po tayo ng force. At yung pumparaan ng pag-move ng isang object na yun, is yung tinatawag na motion. Okay, very well said, Aquino! So, ang forces nga is cause all motion. Every time the motion of an object changes, it's because a force has been applied to it. Naiintindihan niyo ba? Apo! Okay. Next is, what is gravity? So, kanina, kung mapapansin niyo doon sa video clip na pinanood natin, makikita niyo doon si Isaac Newton na nakaupo sa ilalim ng puno ng apple na kung saan umatak yung bunga sa ground. Na kung saan napaisip si Isaac Newton, bakit lumagpak ang bunga sa ground? Kaya naman, pinag-aralan ni Isaac Newton ito. Na kung saan sa pag-aaral niya yun, na-discover niya ang gravity. So, gravity is the force that makes object pull toward the ground. So, doon nga sa activity na ginawa natin na tossing the ball ay nag-exert tayo ng force sa ating kamay para may push ang bola. So, napansin niyo ba na hindi na sa law ni Rejoice ang bola? Apo! So, ano nangyari sa bola? Nalaglag na sa Okay, yun ang pinatawag na gravity. Now, my next is what is work? Work is something done whenever a force makes an object move to a distance. Katulad nga nung sinabi ni Rejoice kanina, without energy ay hindi tayo makakapag-work because energy is the ability to do work. Did you understand? Yes, yes sir. sir! Okay, class. I have a video here na nagpapakita ng isang halimbawa na work. Narito at panukod nyo ang aking inihanda video. Okay, Ayla, place a pencil on the top of your table. Now, move the pencil to the side of the table. You need to use a force to make the pencil move. Work is done whenever a force makes an object move. You do work when you move the pencil across the table. Okay, related nga ang force motion, gravity, energy, and work dahil ang force ay ang ginagamit sa isang bagay para magkaroon ng motion at pumapausap din dito ang gravity na kung saan ang gravity is nagpo-call ng object toward the ground and ang energy nga is the ability to do work. Did you understand class? Yes, sir! Okay. Okay, class, naiintindihan niyo ba ang discuss ko ngayong araw na ito? Oo! Okay, ano nga ba pag sinabing force? Sir! Sir, I'm Lynn. Sir, ang force po yung ina-exert natin sa isang bagay para magkaroon po ng motion. Okay, bigyan natin si Arlene na five claps. One, two, three, four, five. Ano naman pag sinabing motion? Sir! Rejoice! Sir, ang motion po ay sa pag-move ng isang object. Okay, bigyan natin si Rejoice ng Dunisha Club. One, two, three! One, two, three! Very good! Very good! Very good! Very good. Oh, next is, what is 
gravity. Sir! Sir! Okay, tell me. Sir, ang gravity po ay uh, nagpo-pull toward to the ground ng isang object. Okay, very good, Ivy. Okay, next is, what is energy and work? Sir! Lori! Sir, ang energy po ay ang ating strength para magawa ang ating work. Okay, very good. Lori, bigyan natin ng limang pagsak si Lori. One, two, three, four, five! Okay, tapos na nga tayo sa ating discussion. So, alam ko nga na marami kayo natunan ngayon, umaga ito. So, ngayon ay may inihanda ako quiz para sa inyo. So, kumuha na isang papel at sagutan ang inihanda akong tanong. Okay, choose the letter of the correct answer. So, ilalagin mo ang tamang sagot sa inyong papel. Okay, okay, po. okay po! 